Hello, all you space engineers out there. Uh, Commander Kingfish here, and I'm back in day five on this ice rock of a planet. So, today, I wanted to try to build a recovery truck or recovery vehicle to go after unknown signals. And uh, uh, so, that's one that we're going to be uh, spending some time on today. I also wanted to explore some more out in the direction of the coal mine, which I think we're, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna have to check my GPS here. Let's see, I think it's out in that direction is the way I want to go. Uh, let's see here, GPS, let's turn the coal. Oh, I, oh, I do have it on. All right, where's it at? Respawn pod. Silicon rock. <clears throat> Where in the hell is it? I think it's that <clears throat> for... The, yeah, there it is. Cool field. I wanted to explore out in that valley out there. So, while we have some daylight, let's go ahead and do that. We'll get going and uh, see what we can find out there. So, let's... Uh, Remove the connection. Let's hop in the old buggy here. And let's uh, see what we can find. Uh, ooh, I thought we were charged up. Ooh. Uh, I think we, we're not going to go that far today, so let's uh, see what we can find anyway. Uh, two. Let's see. Uh, let's turn this on. It would be really nice if we could find some cobalt. That would... Even a cobalt rock I'll be happy with. That'll allow us to get that assembler finished. Because the cobalt will allow us to make some metal grids. And then uh, that will help us kind of start moving a little more towards our production line. So, as I explore out here and uh, we get started, I'll uh, let you know if I find anything exciting. Well, I told you when something interesting was going to happen. It looks like I kind of got high-centered here a little bit. All right, there we go. Let's see if we can kind of... We kind of got into some rugged terrain. And let's see if we can get off of this. Just need to get a little bit farther. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh boy. Come on, come on. There we go. Almost. Alright. Okay. Yep. Alright. Well, we're about to the, up to the head of the valley here. And I still haven't found much of anything. Let's see if we can get uh, turned off of here. Yeah, this is some pretty steep terrain for for the buggy. But let's see if we can start working our way back over to the other side. And see what we can come up with. Boy, resources are uh, pretty scarce up in this area so far. I've just found the one coal and the silicon. Got into some pretty rough terrain. I see where this drops down into the other side into a big valley, and so maybe at some point we're going to have to explore out into that area. We still got more areas here to uh, explore, but. 
I'm going to start working my way back towards towards the base down the other side and maybe and see what we can find if anything on that side all right well I'll report back when I have something okay we have at least found an iron rock. I was kind of hoping that we would find a cobalt rock, but let's uh, get up here, park it, uh, and let's see if we can't at least take a little bit of this iron back. And, uh, oh, I want to GPS it. So let's do this. Yes, let's go, uh, new current, and I need to clean up my naming conventions, but this is going to be R for rock, iron, we'll call it number one, okay, and let's get a little bit of this anyway. Alright. I was beginning to wonder if we were going to find anything. I know we're going to end up with some stone here first, but. Inventory full. Inventory full. Alright. Uh, I don't have much in the way of storage on here. Let's see. Let's, uh, uh, I do have a little bit of room here. I think what we'll do is put the iron in. I think, uh, I normally don't, but let's go ahead and discard this stone since I can pretty much get that anywhere so let's uh let's uh get rid of a stone as you can see i also uh hit up an unknown signal a little bit earlier so let's uh let's get a little bit of this iron See, I like to go in on the uphill side so that uh, my rocks don't roll away from me. I know we've all hit that. Uh, but we at least found something. And let's go ahead and put this in over here. We'll, uh, we won't completely fill things up. Uh-oh, weather's starting to come in. We better hurry. All right. Well, I think that's good for now. We found it. We've got it marked. And let's start working our way back. I don't really want to get caught out here in weather. But I sure as the heck would like to find something more. So we've been finding a few rocks. We've got the coal field. And uh, I'll uh, let you know when I find something else if there's anything more interesting. Well, we're about back to base here. I guess the best thing is we can say is we did at least find an iron rock. And let's, uh, let me get, uh, situated here, turned in, and, uh, Let's 
just notice something. I thought I had it. Let's see here. Alright, let's hop out here. Oh no, my my container, my medium container disappeared. The one that I kicked all the way back over here to base. I suppose that means my battery has probably disappeared as well. I thought I had trash removal turned off. I'll have to check that. Let's go over and see if this battery is still here. If not, then uh, we'll have to uh, start again on the battery. Setbacks today, setbacks. And... Come on, come on, please still be there. It's not looking good. I thought I had trash removal turned off. Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's go into the GPS. Let's, uh... Get rid of that. Delete it. Now let's let's check trash removal. Alt F10 here. Admin. Trash removal. Suspend. All right. Save changes. I must have somehow turned that off. All right. Well. Maybe next time. Oh well, that happens. Okay. Let's get back to the base over here. Okay, we're here at the base, so... I uh, did some exploring. I wanted to do that, and we at least found some iron. Let's go ahead and get it into the hopper here. Uh, let's go ahead and put this stone in there. And it may not have enough power at the moment. Let's uh, do this. Get this hooked up. There we go. So we'll get that. That's going to start working on depleting my battery, but hopefully we can uh, get this ground down and then uh, that battery will start charging. I may have to ultimately build some more. But we got four of them going up there, so I think this should be fine for now. Let's get this iron going. That, this is going to help. Uh, that will go in there. Those won't. That will. That will. I think that will. Uh, basic computer will. The advanced won't. And I did hit that one unknown signal and got some steel out of it. Some steel plate. So that gives us some more stuff to work with. Let's uh, put this stuff over in storage because we will be able to at some point. And let's go ahead and put the fertilizer in there. We're not uh, ready for that yet. Uh, we might as well put the organics in there. And it's looking like I need something to eat. So let's... Uh, let's do that. Let's get uh, into here. Uh, let's put that wastewater in there. And we do have some synthetic food here. Oop, I didn't want to grab it all. Ah, that's fine. Cool. And then we'll get some more into production. Let's get this going. Three. Okay. All right. We've got ten. Let's get, uh... Yeah, let's do ten of these. I think we have enough for that. And... Let's, uh... Get, uh, some more food into... 
production another 10 of those which I think we need to move at least 10 of them up and let's see uh, we've got ice so should be good for now all right we'll let those go to work while I have managed to get something to eat all right so the thing that I wanted to do today is get a get a recovery vehicle built so that we can start slowly working on getting some power resources here at the plant and we could do that by harvesting those lithium small lithium batteries out of the unknown pods and so that's going to be a project we're going to start working on but we need the tow truck or the recovery truck first so let's uh, let's get uh, I like to use a landing gear and let's find it here there we go let's drop it down and uh, nine small all right let's get away from the base there a little bit this is why it was good to have trash removal turned off because this would disappear. All right, let's get this up high enough. I guess I'm going to have to build. Oop, oop. I didn't want to turn that on. Fuel low. Oh boy. All right. Well, let's go fix that. I don't want to listen to her all the time. Didn't mean to hit that. I'm using no jetpack, so I, in essence. That should fill up, so that way we don't have to listen to her. Alright. Let's try this again. Let's go to four. Uh, let's get this turned where we kind of build a little bit of a scaffolding. There, right there. there that there I know those are going to ultimately be in the way probably but that uh, gets us started all right Four. Oop. all right now we can kind of build this up a little bit get it up high enough there we go I think that is as high as I want that. How high did I put these up? This is up. Uh, one, two, three. And I've got this up. One, two, three, four. I think that's up high enough. Two, three. One of the things you'll discover in my builds I'm a functional kind of guy I don't necessarily go real all-out stylish as much as I try every once in a while I'll try to put some stylish stuff in there but it pretty much turns out just functional and that's okay all right well as you can see as this is starting to take shape I will uh, get back with you once this has a little more design to it. Alright, I got a little bit done on this. I've got this side for the wheels. Here, let me do this. Alright, so I've got, uh, let me bring up my pointer. So I've got uh, wheels on this side of the uh, recovery vehicle. I've got my control seat on. Uh, I've got my O2 generator on. I've got uh, three small hydrogen tanks right here. And then I've got the hydrogen engine. 
obviously we're going to be working with hydrogen because that's what we have for our fuel type and then so the plan will be to put uh, just a container right here just for some storage and then as I get to the back I'm going to have a piston assembly uh, that I'll use to pick up stuff and bring it back. So uh, as I get farther along on this, I will give you another update uh, once I get the rest of this uh, frame all built and you can kind of have a look at it. Okay, I am making some progress on this. I haven't put the wheels on on this side yet just because I've got my scaffolding in the way. Uh, but I could probably remove this scaffolding and put the wheels on here just shortly. So I need to put one more block on each of these and then attach the wheels. I've got the hydrogen engine all in and the uh, conveyor system hooked up to it so that uh, it will run. I, I put a small container on here just in case for doing some hauling. Uh, we can take this back up to the uh, uh, temporary base and bring back our stuff. Uh, one of the things that we'll be doing is as I am uh, recovering stuff from the unknown signals I will be uh, building my uh, container sh uh, ship or my container vehicle that uh, I'll use for doing most of my hauling. As you can see I've got a piston mechanism set up back here for raising and lowering and uh, being able to attach. I put a magnetic plate on the bottom here right here that's a magnetic plate and that's what I'll be using to attach and bring back uh, the batteries and small cargo uh, containers or the medium cargo containers that you find on some of the unknown signals. Uh, so I'm getting a little bit closer. Uh, let me uh, uh, finish putting the wheels on. I will put... Uh, I think the only other thing I want to put on here is a maybe a small battery but with all the ice and snow that we have around here uh, we should be fine with the hydrogen engine I just need to make sure we keep keep it full uh, that's kind of the idea behind the tank and I just noticed that I'm about to get thirsty here so let's go ahead and uh, drink some water uh, I get caught up in building that stuff and I forget that I need to drink so let's do that let's take on five of those and uh, there we go we're good uh, how am I doing I'm doing good on food let's put the organics in here uh, let's get rid of the gray wastewater we can recycle that and let's see uh, let's grab a couple more of these. Mm, I like to carry about five at a minimum. And we have 18. Uh, we're good on food. So let's, uh, let's get two, three, there we go. That's got that. Let's make, uh, Ten more of these. Let's see. We've got enough for that. And we can put these up here. And let's get another at least uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get six of those going. We'll steadily keep increasing our, our food and water supply. All right. Uh, so... Uh, I just wanted to give you an update on where I were at with this. So once I get uh, get the wheels all on and I'm ready to start welding, I'll give you another update.
All right, I've got the wheels all on, and uh, I think I've got, well, i got a couple of other things. i got to put uh, a gyro on here, uh, a couple of those, and an antenna, and I think that's about all that's left to do on there, but I'll put those on after I get everything else welded up. So, once I get to that point, I will uh, give you another update on it, and we should be then pretty darn close, ready to try this thing out. So, uh, I'll catch up with you here in a little bit. Well, as another day is coming to an end, I didn't quite get the uh, recovery vehicle done, but pretty darn close. I've got a few more things I want to do on it. I've got the gyros on there and the antenna. I just got to build them. I got everything else built on here. Uh, as you can see, I got the control seat, and uh, I got the O2 generator, I got the small hydrogen tanks, these right here, there's three of them, uh, and they are plumbed into the hydrogen tank, which they are also plumbed into the O2 generator. So we should be set there. I got the small transport crate on here. That's just in case we need to haul some stuff. Uh, I got the uh, towing or the piston mechanism all put in place. So it will go right, left, uh, up, and down, and out. So we should be able to pretty much pick anything up. And, uh, yeah, so that uh, is, uh, I think, about it for day five. Day six, we'll get this finished and uh, hopefully go out and uh, recover something uh, that's useful to us. And then uh, I think I've got some more things. I need to start working on the plant here. Uh, and maybe do some more exploring. Hopefully we are going to find some more minerals and, and cobalt and stuff. So I think that concludes this, uh, this day. Uh, just in time as it's just starting to snow. So uh, with that, uh, all you space engineers out there, uh, Commander Kingfish will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching everyone.